it's Veterans Day and I wanted to do something special this year. Uh, so I did a little Google search and found out there was a Congressional Medal of Honor winner uh, that was buried within 30 miles of our house. His name is uh, Richard Eller Cowan. Here's a picture of him. He was just barely 22 years old when he died. Sadly, uh, this badge up here was laying face down in the dirt when uh, Tanya picked it up and brushed as much dirt off as she could and and stuck it back in the ground. Now I'd like to uh, read his citation. Private Cowan was born in Lincoln, Nebraska. He attended college in Wichita, Kansas. He was barely 22 years old when he died. Here's his citation. He was a heavy machine gunner in a section attached to Company I in the vicinity of Krink Kelterwald, Belgium, December 17, 1944, when that company was attacked by a numerically superior force of German infantry tanks. Infantry and tanks. Uh, the first six waves of hostile infantrymen were repulsed with heavy casualties, but a seventh drive with tanks killed or wounded all but three of his section leaving Private Cowan to man his gun, supported by only 15 to 20 riflemen of Company I. He maintained his position, holding off the Germans until the rest of the shattered force had set up a new line along a fire break. Then unaided, he moved his machine gun and ammunition to the second position. At the approach of a Royal Tiger tank, he held his fire until about 80 enemy infantrymen supporting the tank appeared at a distance of about 150 yards. His first burst killed or wounded about half of these infantrymen. His, sec his position was rocked by an 88 millimeter shell when the tank opened fire, but he continued to man his gun, pouring deadly fire into the Germans when they again advanced. He was barely missed by another shell. Fire from three machine guns and innumerable small, small arms fire struck all about him. An enemy rocket shook him badly but did not drive him from his gun. Infiltration by the enemy had by this time made the position untenable and the order was given to withdraw. Private Cowan was the last man to leave, voluntarily covering the withdrawal of his remaining comrades. His heroic actions were entirely responsible for allowing the remaining men to retire successfully from the scene of their last ditch stand. Since the uh, Medal of Honor uh, award was created in 19, um, I'm sorry, 1861, only 3,400 of them have been uh, awarded. So it's a pretty rare award. I just wanted uh, to remember Private Cowan today. And I'd also like to take this chance to uh, tell everybody out there who is a veteran, thank you. And we noticed right next to uh, Richard Cowan's uh, grave was Charles R. Cowan, uh, who was born two years after Richard. And we're assuming this is probably his brother, who eventually reached the rank of major. There's a small, tattered American flag by his grave. 